up you guys? So, I wanted to start vlogging today because I could kick myself for not vlogging yesterday. So yesterday was kind of normal, but last night we went to Emmanuel, um, a church in town, and they had this Thrive Youth Conference thing. It's their first one, but they had Pastor Greg Locke come. I don't know if you guys have heard of him or not, but he's kind of like a Facebook famous preacher. So he was awesome! And so we're going back again tonight, and so I wanted to vlog today so I could show you guys a little bit of what he's talking about and all that stuff. I just got my last package that I'm expecting in the mail, and it's this little guy. Oh my goodness, every person needs one of these little tripods for their phone. Apparently, my sister just got in an accident, but it's not an accident, there's not any damage. Um, she apparently bumped the car. No damage, but her car won't start now, so I'm not gonna go get her. I'm just kidding. I'm not annoyed. Well, here we go. Here's Lauren. There's Nothing the car. Nothing like documenting a bad thing. I am, I'm putting it on all over YouTube. Watch me fold my rolls. Hesica's here. We're waiting for the cops and insurance or something. I don't even know. Call Sean. He lives over there. He does. He does. He's he does. filming. Be careful. Come down. He does live <laughs> right there. <laughs> well, it's over. It was so hot. Oh, that little guy was a little weasel. He was more aggravated that he actually got in an accident than that there was damage to the car. I was like, well, then why are we here? We're headed to Taco Bell now because we were about to pass out. It's really, really hot and we're really, really hungry. I can roll it down my arm like my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. Oh, and all the hairs. This month I've been married 20 years and I tell you I love my wife and I love my kids. But they can't come before my relationship to Christ. I love my church. I love our staff. I love our elders. I love our people passionately. I let them know it all the time. But I don't love them more than I love my Lord. You see, the Bible says, Thou shalt have no other gods before me. We have the idea that means, well, if I have a god before him, that means I sit down with a Swiss Army knife and I wear a little Buddha statue and I burn incense to it. No, that's not what that means. What it means is if you have any person or anything in your life that you will not relinquish and give to God, that thing, that person has become your God. And the American church is filled with idolatry. That's why the end of 1 John, the book that I'm preaching through at Global Vision right now, the end of the book says, little children, flee from idols. He said that to believers in a church. Why? Because the church is filled with idol worshipers, people that put other things and other people before their relationship to Jesus Christ. And it is very easy for us to do that. And Jesus said, you want to follow me? Then you're going to have to have a love for me that makes your love for anyone else seem as if it were Hatred. But see, the problem is everybody wants to fit in. Everybody wants to be liked. Even me. Everybody wants to be liked and loved. Jesus said, beware when all men speak well of you. You see, if everybody likes what you're saying, you're not saying very much, ladies and gentlemen. If you never ruffle any feathers, even by accident, you're not saying very much. You're not doing very much. And Jesus said there's going to be times that people are going to take issue in your walk with God. But that's fine. You love Him more than you love them. Because the church is consumed with what I call the disease to please. we got to please everybody. No, we don't. We play with an audience of one. i got to please one person. I've got to please one individual, and that is my Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. I tell people all over this country, if Jesus and my wife are happy with me, I don't care what you think. So I say amen. <laughs> if Jesus and my wife are okay with a few controversial Facebook videos, I don't care what the fallout is. Because with Jesus and my wife, I'm rocking on, praise God. <laughs> I mean, when Jesus approves of what I'm doing and my wife pats me on the back or kisses me on the mouth and says, that a boy, you better look out. We're going to Facebook name it, right? <laughs> and I don't need everybody's approval. I don't need everybody's appraisal. I don't need everybody's applause. Because at the end of the day, we have to love him more than we love them. Now, I will say this. Notice the end of verse number 26. Yay! And his own life also. Now, that's the biggest one right there. You see, I can, I can love Jesus for the most part more than I love everybody else. But it's hard to love Jesus more than I love myself. And the Bible says we have to die to ourselves. By the way, don't get quiet. Put your lip out. You love yourself too, right? <laughs> Sometimes people come to me in counsel and say, Pastor, I just hate myself. No, you don't. The Bible says no man ever yet hated himself. 
And if the Bible says you've never hated yourself, guess what? You've never hated yourself. You love yourself. That's why you look in the mirror. That's why you make sure your nose is clean. That's why you comb your hair. That's why you wear certain clothes. That's why you feed yourself. That's why you watch what you want and do what you want. We love ourselves. We cherish ourselves. We pamper ourselves. And the Bible says the problem with Gregor Dwayne Locke is I can't love God as much as I should because I love me too much. I get in the way. The Bible says in Romans chapter 6 and verse 1, What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? And the most ridiculous person in my life that causes me the most trouble is me. The government's not my number one enemy. People say, that devil made me do it. Quit that foolishness. The devil didn't make you do jack. You did it because you wanted to, right? <laughs> Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. The devil has no power over your life unless you give devil made you do it. You did it because you liked it. You did it because you wanted to. You did it because we are in love with ourselves. And Jesus said we must be willing to die to ourselves so that we can freely and fully be followers of Jesus Christ. And that is not an easy thing to do. 